you very much. Thank you. All right. Amelia Earhart. Not been seen since July 1937. She disappeared on a round-the-world flight. But a recently discovered film of her sparking some interest in the mystery. Look who's here. The author of Amelia Earhart's last photo shoot, Nicole Swinford. Nicole, welcome to the program. Good to see you with us. Good to see you. Now then, if I were to show that video, or whatever it is, to our viewers, would you tell us what you now think happened to Amelia Earhart? Can you tell from the film? You know, it's not so much that you can tell specifically from the film. It's more um, that the film opens up um, bigger, more questions um, for us to consider. I certainly have my uh, theory over what happened with Amelia Earhart. Um, but what's so great about this video is that it comes um, from the beginning of her flight rather than the end. And we're so focused on the end and what happened in those last moments that sometimes we get too narrowed into that part of history and we forget okay. that all of this stuff happened beforehand but that what, contributed to that. Tell me real fast, what do you see in the video from her, the very early part of the flight when she's getting on board or when she's starting out on the flight? What do you see that, let, that offers new insight into the flight? Well, you see her walking around her plane. She's inspecting her plane. It's very up close and personal, taking a few promotional shots. Um, and the like with her and Fred Noonan. And what you notice about the plane here is um, differences. You notice this plane looks very different um, from what we see later on um, in her flight when we have pictures. Uh, you notice different antennas have been um, removed or changed or whatnot. She was making a lot of changes to her radio system particularly, and that definitely had an impact on what happened at oh, the end. That's why um, you lost, the radio contract was lost didn't know where she ended up. Well, uh, I've got about 30 seconds left. Can you tell me, what is your theory? What happened to her? I think that she splashed into the Pacific Ocean, but then, of course, there are so many factors that we have to consider. The plane, the way it was built, it would have floated, not sunk. And so you have to consider the, the tides. You have to consider the fact that uh, we didn't get a search party out for a few days. Um, but then, of course, the Japanese got their search party out much quicker. Now, do, so, you, do you think, do you, are you going to speculate that she ended up on some desert island and lived for many years after the crash? I mean, a lot of people think that. Do you, are you in that camp? No, I don't think that necessarily happened. I think there's definitely more information out there that we, um, that we could get and that's left to be discovered. Um, but she most likely um, Can I just interrupt? It, it, it's film, right? That's what it is. It's film. Mm -hmm. Newly discovered. Yes. Um, I can't get to see that. Where am I going to see this film? Uh, this film, you can see it on... Um, you can probably see it on YouTube by now. It's been over, yeah. but you can get your own copy of the film um, with the book. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to say I'm out of time. Thank you very much for joining us. Some of our Thank viewers may remember Amelia Earhart. I'm almost in that generation. All right, thanks very much. New poll for the Wall Street Journal. Jeb Bush still leading the Republican pack.